Okay, let me show you two more example. Do it like gentle, two more example. Like if it's a pattern like this, okay. So this is like you can see the pattern is minus six. It's minus six and minus six. As long as something to do with plus minus, we can use this formula. So the formula says the first number is a, the a is the 19. 19 is the first number put inside the a. So you start with 19. Then after that, the D is the pattern, right? The D is the pattern. The pattern is minus 6. So minus 6 put inside here. So put inside minus 6. So that means become like minus 6, then M minus 1. Okay, the formula M minus 1, just write back M minus 1. See that? So the 19 and the minus 6, you write here. 19 and minus 6, then M minus 1 is fixed. This one cannot change. It's always fixed. Then, okay, we open the bracket. Negative 6 multiply inside. So be careful with negative, negative 6 go in, you get negative 6n. Negative, negative, you get positive. 6 times 1, you get 6. Okay, finally, 19 plus 6. Then you get your 25 minus 6n. So this done for the first part. This time for the question number 2. Number 3, okay, let me show you one more. This is a plus 6. You can see it's a plus 6. It's like the balik from just now, right? Plus 6. So the first number is 1 and then plus 6, right? The pattern is plus 6. So you write 1 plus 6. Behind is always n minus 1. Then open the bracket. 6 go in. You get like 6n minus 6. Simplify further. 1 minus 6, you will get negative 5. So you can write like this, your answer. Okay. Or sometimes in the books, they will write like this. Correct? Okay. It's the same. Oh, it's the same. Huh? 6 minus 5. Okay, it's the same. So that's it. Thank you.